In round one, toolpathing a wireframe versus toolpathing a solid came out pretty even. I think I'd give a slight edge to wireframe, but overall it's very close. Round two, contour. In round two, we're going to do wireframe versus solids, and this time we're going to test the contour operation. So we'll go to contour. We'll select the wireframe. In this particular case, we need to turn the wireframe selection on. And I'm going to grab the center piece right here. I look at my arrow, it looks good. And confirm my selection. Now that we have done that, we're going to select a tool. We use a 3 8 flat end mill in this case. Check our cut parameters. The defaults look OK. We're going to go to our linking parameters. Because our wireframe has no thickness, we're going to have to give it a depth here. And right now the print says it's a half inch thick. So I'm going to go minus 0.5. And I'm going to add 30 thousandths for a little extra breakthrough. And now we have our contour operation for wireframe. To do the same for solids, fairly similar procedure. We're going to select contour once again. Instead of wireframe, we're going to select solids here. We're going to select loop and make sure nothing on, is else is on. We're going to zoom in a little bit and grab this piece of geometry right here. Confirm the face. Say good. And now we should go into our tool parameters. And we're going to use a save 3 8 end mill. Cut parameters, we'll use defaults as we did in the wireframe. Linking parameters, instead of using this depth here, I'm going to say associative. And I'm going to pick a point on the model to have it be associated to. And I'm going to grab just the bottom point right here. To have the breakthrough amount, I'm going to add minus. 0.03 and I'm going to confirm the operation. Now we have the contour operation on wireframe, the contour operation on solid, and we'll go to back flap and we'll speed things up a little bit here. And there's our contour operation on both solid and wireframe.